Join Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Estes Park, Colorado. Look at that. <sighs> that is the Colorado burrito. Oh, there. Is it really good? Wow. It is really good. That's outstanding. But they end it with a high note with this dessert. In late spring, we visited Colorado and stayed in Estes Park, a mountain town located just outside the Rocky Mountain National Park. About 70 miles northwest of Denver, Estes Park sits at over 7,500 feet in elevation and is home to over 6,000 residents. It is filled with quaint shops and restaurants, several of which are described right here. We stayed at the Loss of Estes, a modern living area just under a large rock structure. Additionally, Estes Park is abundant with wildlife. The mule deer and elk are common sights and make for an absolutely picturesque setting. The Egg of Estes is a home away from home eatery and a great place to fuel up before venturing out into the Colorado Rockies. It used to be one location in the national franchise but has evolved into a fully independent breakfast and lunch destination. They have everything from healthy frittatas, oatmeal, yogurt, and avocado toast to a full range of egg sandwiches, breakfast burritos, omelets, skillets, scrambles, pancakes, and waffles. Their execution is spot on. Look at, look at that. It's like still sizzling here in the skillet. Oh, I can't wait to dig into it. Goodness. You can smell the hot sauce. It's green chili. Oh, wow. What was it called? Marine. Marine. That is outstanding. My signature happy plate. Notch Top, named for the 12,000 foot mountain in the nearby National Park, uses local and natural ingredients to create scrumptious, made from scratch breakfast and lunch dishes. Their menu emphasizes down home favorites with portions that never leave you hungry. Their menu is extensive, ranging from hashes, breakfast sandwiches, omelets, scrambles, and benedicts, to oatmeals, French toast, waffles, and pancakes. And that's just their breakfast menu. Notch Top delivers top-notch quality in early day dining. I, I think one thing about this Colorado trip is going to make it hard for me to make a happy plate. That is a lot of food for breakfast. Holy cow. That is the Colorado burrito. I got corned beef hash and eggs. You can kind of see it right here. Oh, there we go. It's, it's homemade. It's their homemade dressing. Homemade corned beef and hash. That is the biggest breakfast burrito I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. It's got chorizo in it. I can taste that green chili. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I might get it down. It has that like Oh yeah, look at it. It's like a, a stringy. Texture. Stringy, yeah. It's not smooth. So you know that's... Oh wow. It's, it's, it's really good. I can tell you, I gave it a valiant effort. Uh, but that's, that's a lot. Two pioneers of the region, Isabella Bird and Mountain Jim, became the inspiration for the founders of Bird and Jim. Today, this ingredient-driven kitchen claims to provide modern mountain dining when they serve up Colorado cuisine. They pride themselves on the use of local, sustainable, and healthy foods and, as a result, have an ever-evolving menu. Fresh takes on classics include tuna wontons, duck wings, and their own buffalo burger. Combine their outstanding food with an extensive drink selection, and you have true fine dining in a casual atmosphere. These are all the cocktails. Whiskies, scotches, bourbons. 
And then on the other side are all the wines. Holy cow. I'm the one who's a fan of the Moscow Mule, but you ended up with a... Blue Mule. A Blue Mule. And I guess that's because it has blueberry vodka. It smells like... Yeah, it smells like... Mmm. Oh. Mmm, you can't smell that, but... Wow, okay. And I elected to get some local uh, whiskey. So this is a 291 Colorado Aspen Rye. <laughs> Permeate your mouth. Swallow, get a little bit of that tickling in your mouth. Oh, that's really good. That's very smooth. And yours ended up? It's really good. It's really good. And I don't like it. Oh, surprise, smooth. surprise. Yeah. Cheers. There's our edamame. Mm. Get all those peppers off of it. Mmm. So good. So you ended up getting a bowl. It's got rice and kimchi. You can see some of the kimchi, avocado, all sorts of stuff. And then you just added the tuna on it. And look at that. Oh my god, that looks so good. I got the buffalo burger, which looks outstanding, and I can't wait to sink my, my teeth into it. Some of their own hand cut fries and stuff. You can bite it and you know that you're eating hamburger. Not real strong gamey or anything like that, but it's just obvious that it's not beef. So, excellent. So, what did you think of the seared tuna on there? Is it really good? Yeah. Wow. That looks impressive. Did you, yeah. did you try it with the kimchi and stuff? Yeah. yeah. And these I know that's up to your alley. These carrots up are your alley. Like perfect. Everything's really Wow, it looks outstanding. It's really that, good. That's, so they're local Estes Park beers, rock cut, and IPA that they highly recommended, so I decided to get to try it. Oh, that is good. That was a rough one. <laughs> Ugh. Got it. Happy plate. The Stanley is a grand hotel that opened its doors back in 1909 and is most famous for being the inspiration behind Stephen King's novel, The Shining. This historic structure has been renovated several times and offers unique room experiences, including a stay at one of the spirited rooms that are described as having high paranormal activity. And we are at the Stanley Hotel at the Cascades Restaurant and Lounge. And here is what it looks like. Ooh. It's a gate. Among the amenities at the Stanley is fine dining at the Cascades Restaurant, serving classic, fresh, and innovative American dishes with a local flair. Among the guests who have visited the Cascades Restaurant are Bob Dylan, Pink, Jim Carrey, Barbara Streisand, John McCain, Stephen King. Some of the most popular items include the Colorado Gang Meatloaf, Filet Mignon, and Grilled Elk Loin. They also have an extensive whiskey bar with wines, cocktails, single malt scotches, and the largest collection of whiskeys in Colorado. Getting though. Oh, it's a blue agave. This is the Black Canyon Winter. It's a Colorado whiskey. So I'm excited to Oh my gosh, you guys smell it.
Oh wow, that is smooth, but the flavors engulf your, your whole mouth and stuff. And that is almost buttery. It's really good. That's outstanding. I'm impressed. Uh, sesame encrusted trout. But I love the carrots. Look at those. Look really good. Those look really good. And this is my chicken pasta. Oh my gosh, it looks really good too, though. Like a bird. The Rock Inn Mountain Tavern is a rustic local restaurant that serves up carefully sourced foods with occasional live music. The original structure was built in 1937 as a sandwich shop at the Rocky Mountain National Park entrance, and a dance hall was added in 1943. Two wood-burning fireplaces warm guests in the winter, while views from the outdoor patio are ideal in the summer. Their menu is described as having a blend of handcrafted, hearty comfort food with a health and planet conscious twist. Thank you. Oh, wow. What kind of sausage is this? This is the elk. Elk. Elk sausage because you got the bison. That That's not honey mustard out of a, <laughs> out of a jar. That's really good. So these are the bison meatballs. And you got broccoli and mashed potatoes. And I have the meatloaf with beef, elk, and bison. Okay. And I've got some veggies and some black beans. Oh, I love all the cheese on it. Wow, we should try this. this. That's really good. Yeah, let's we'll try the meat. It's a little smoother. I tell you, the texture is a smoother texture. And uh, yeah, that's good. I really like that. That's a, that's good stuff. My butt. I'm really struggling making a happy plate here. That's awesome. French crust. We got coffee cheesecake. Look how, what is this? This is like, like a mousse. It's like a whipped cream. Any good? Is it pretty good? You're able to get it down? Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. I mean, it's firm, but it's still so smooth. It's almost like melt in your mouth yeah. smooth. The lightness of the chocolate mousse. Excellent, excellent. I have to tell you, I enjoyed the meal, but they ended with a high note with this dessert and this coffee. That's, that's outstanding. Claire's is a family owned business that strives to use the freshest ingredients and locally sourced products whenever possible. This down home atmosphere was ideal for a late night dessert and coffee before closing out the evening. How to make your date laugh. You go, you go. <laughs> huh. It had a hole in the bottom. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe, click to the left for more adventures.